Hello. Recently, I asked a group of women a question about how they define success in their business. Now, you would be forgiven for thinking that success is purely about money and numbers. Uh, and that's what we are exposed to all the time. That's what we hear about all the time. Um, 10K days, seven figure years, da 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 da. I mean, that's, that's, that's the framework. That's the paradigm. That's the, the frame of reference that we have had for as long as we can all remember about what business success is. Yet the women I asked defined it differently. The predominant thing was about what brought them joy. It was about creating, it was about connecting, it was about creating a feel good factor in their business. And that was what mattered to them as much, if not more, than making money or um, reaching a certain level um, of, and, and exposure in their business. And that really does signal the change of direction that we need to be traveling in, um, which of course opens up a whole range of things that we need to address and deal with because the transition from what we have been operating in into the, into the new that we're moving into is going to raise a lot of challenges and a lot of issues for all of us. So business has been, as for as long as we can remember, about results. It's been about bottom line. It's been about pushing through, hustle, grit, determination, moving, you know, just keep on going no matter what the perceived weaknesses might be because it's all about being seen to be strong. But that, that model is a bit like taking a tree and plonking it down on the ground without any root system. It might look the part, but it's not actually coming from anywhere. It's not anchored anywhere. It's not rooted. And that's, that's, sort of, that's why our world of business has got so out of balance, um, over the, particularly, increasingly, over the last you know, couple of decades. It's, it's, it's snowballing out of balance. It is all about the, the bottom line. Um, you know, if you think about some of the very big businesses, the, the mega corporations, it's all about bottom line and to hell with the cost. And yet that's, that sits so out of kilter now with how most people are feeling that we can't continue to operate in that, that we need to change the world of business. Now, to me, women are very well placed to lead this change in business because we are more, we, we have a much more um, immediate access to the energies that are needed to redress the balance, and that is the feminine energies. So we are able to, it, it's easier for us to access um, and to tap into a natural part of ourselves um, in order to lead the way. So this isn't about men and women, but it is about using particular energy to actually um, redress the balance. And that's one of the things that we as women need to do because um, socially our balance has been out of kilter for a very, very long time. So, and a lot of what's going on in the world is about reclaiming some of that. Um, so we need, so we're well placed to, to pave the way for these changes in business. Um, because we can reconnect in a way much more immediately, but that doesn't mean to say that this is about men and women. Um, be, because business has been dominated by masculine energy. Um, and, and that has, um, that has you know, for men, and, men and women have str struggled and suffered equally under that framework, that, that paradigm where masculine energy has dominated it, that hustle, that grit, that pushing through. That's been um, immensely disempowering to the people, to people within business. And that's, that's equally true for entrepreneurs who've gone into business for themselves because that, that paradigm has been all around them. This is how you need to do things. This isn't what, you, what it takes. If you haven't got this, then you're never going to make it. You know, all of these things that we hear, they've been, they've been coming at us. They are part of our social constructs. And that is what we are up against because we need to actually um, move away from that. Now, that's a big ask. And it requires us to move into a different um, into a, in, into a different place um, and to have a different relationship with ourselves in order to make that viable and make it happen. So true creativity in business is actually of the feminine energy. It is rooted and it is anchored in the earth. The earth is predominantly feminine. Um, and 
feminine energy in the, in the earth is about bringing forward what is needed. And I am not talking about market gaps here. I'm talking about what is needed to create balance um, and growth. True growth comes from a place of balance. It doesn't come from a place of imbalance. And that's what we're seeing in the world at the moment is massive imbalance in that growth. The growth has happened at the expense of something else. Now, um, I, you know, if in any entrepreneurial circles, people will say, will express their disquiet and uneasiness around um, marketing because it feels like it's my, my benefit at the expense of yours. And that's one of the big shifts that we're all trying to, to work on is, is to change that, that perspective of that process so that, so that marketing as such is not about, a, you know, I grow at the expense of you, which is what we see all around us. If we're honest, you know, the, some of the mega corporations, we see them taking what they need at the expense of everything around them. You know, we're, we're, we're living through that. So, of course, that consciousness is built into our businesses as entrepreneurs, but we are here to bring about positive change. We are here to be a constructive force in the world, not a de de destructive force in the world. Therefore, we need to come from a different place. Our energy needs to come from a different place in order to bring forward a new way of doing it, a new way of being in business, a new way of um, integrating business into the world. Because it is a prime and a critical constructive energy in creating change positive change if we let it so business is initiated in this fem feminine energy it however needs masculine energy in order to become into a creative form we need the we need both operating in balance uh, and but we need to move away from um, that 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 tan the tangibles of creation and more into the sensations of creation so we need to feel what is needed feel what is being called forward and allow the masculine energy to work with that at the moment masculine energy is working with um intellectually perceived needs market gaps um, and stuff which may you know it might be what we can perceive and what is in front of us but is not necessarily what is needed for balance and so if you're struggling and fighting you know thinking well what's my niche who are my ideal clients and everything you if when you're doing that you're coming at that from the perceived need not actually what is needing to come through you um, and is asking to come through you is asking to come from your roots and that's where the creative process comes from. So it's gonna, the energy has to come from that feminine place initially, but it's transitioning into a masculine energy to actually be created. So there is a process of coming from receiving the idea um, and nurturing that idea into an expression which moves into different types of energies. So success is measured very differently when we come from that place because it is very much more about what is sensed, what is felt rather than what is tangibly in front of us and is, is the classic results driven side of things. So to create more meaning and purpose in, in business, we need to reestablish that connection to that feeling and that sense because otherwise when we are, when we are moving into that hustle mode, then positive change is lost when we're in that place because we're not listening to what is needed. Um, we are losing compassion as well. We're losing an understanding of the interconnectedness of our businesses within the overall setting. It's all about my business growth, my business growth, my business growth at the expense of. So that's why we need to come back to what those roots are. And this ultimately is our inner authority, it is our inner wisdom. Then the question is, do we trust it? That's the important thing because to make some of these changes, is a big, big ask. Um, and it requires a great deal of trust in that inner knowing in order to make those, make those changes because what's gonna come forward is gonna look very different from the norm. And that's an inevitability. It is gonna look and feel and be very different from what has come before. So to bring that forward takes courage and it takes trust 
So I've got three questions for you to ask yourself about your own inner authority and where that is taking you. So the first question is, where are you not looking within? What answers are you not seeking within? That's the first question. The second question is, where are you not listening to your inner authority? And it might be because it seems so outrageously off left field or whatever that you are thinking that can't possibly move through with that. So where are you not listening to your inner authority? And finally, where are you not trusting it? We're all ever so good at second guessing ourselves and not trusting ourselves to trust um, another conversation I've had recently. It, so it's, there's, there's many layers to it. Where are you not trusting that inner authority? Because when you can answer those three questions, then you will have be able to zone in on where you are holding yourself back and you are holding yourself back somewhere. We all are. Um, every single one of us is not operating at full, full, full power basically. And if we were operating full power, we wouldn't be in this situation. So every single one of us is holding ourselves back. So, and, and you know, most of the time that is because we are not trusting our inner authority to respond in the way that we have a knowing that needs to, uh, the, the, we have a knowing of, gosh, that didn't make, that didn't come out right as a full sentence. So we, we know, we do genuinely know within ourselves what is needed and what we is being called through us, but we don't necessarily always trust our inner authority to act upon that. So if you're going to answer those three questions, you will find where you need to focus on releasing the blocks to taking your business forward and creating positive change. And that does not matter whether there is one person or a thousand people. The change and the implications of those change, the, the because of the connections that we all have, that follow through is just as important um, that you are here to create change you are here to create positive change um, and you need to listen to what is being called through you in order to act upon it and to access your energies and your full energies in balance so um, I would love to hear what those what the answers to those questions are for you um, and where that is taking you Bye.